You know, we love a good conspiracy theory. Some on the show more than others, Jerry. Yes. Uh, but Morgan Ra- Wallen, country singer Morgan Wallen, just announced that he has been put on vocal rest for six weeks. I got some bad news. After taking 10 days of vocal rest, I performed three shows last weekend in Florida. And by the third one, I felt terrible. So I went in and got scoped yesterday, and they told me that I re-injured my vocal cords. Their advice is that I go on vocal rest for six weeks. So that's what I'm going to do. They want me not to talk at all, but they said if I need to, it's okay for something like this. And they told me that if I do this the right way, that I'll get back to 100%. And they also said that if I don't listen and I keep singing, then I'll permanently damage my voice. So for the longevity of my career, this is just the choice I had to make. The conspiracy. Well, he seemed honest. I know it does seem that uh, way, but the conspiracy yes. out there, we're just bringing it to you, is that it's just a cover for rehab. That was my thought. <laughs> <laughs> and if What's he needs to go to rehab, go to rehab. <laughs> sure. Or just, you know, so I, is that your, that's my personal. That's his own one. But is this, is, did this conspiracy come from Jared or it's been floating out there a lot? Well, I think a lot of people mm-hmm. in the beginning when he was just canceling concerts left and right, especially up to the moment. And it had security guards saying that he was fall down drunk. Yeah. 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 He couldn't even stand up. Out, that, it, that was definitely the conspiracy. I happen to believe that he really is. I mean, that's a lot to go through to talk about being scoped. And to, I mean, somebody could easily debunk that if they wanted. Yeah, well, they could. You know? They can still so, do that. They can still go through the whole rigmarole and go could. to the doctor and, and all that stuff. And there's nothing against him. Maybe he'll do both. Not Nothing against him. I'm yeah. just saying mm-hmm. this would be the perfect time. To go. Let's say he need, it is, does need vocal rest. Mm-hmm. It would be also a good time to go to just rehab if, if he's having problems with alcohol. Mm-hmm. Could be. But my Because yeah. people, I mean, why, it's a better cover than saying... I'm going to rehab. I'm sorry, I can't do my shows. I think it makes you look worse. Well, people can't be as mad. You yeah. know, it's well, not that people are mad at you for going to rehab, but it's like he re- like, this <sighs> doctor advised and, and he, he, he can't do it. And, it's totally out of his control. Right. Yeah. He did seem genuine. He did. On that. He did. Of what he was saying. And I, that is definitely true. Mm-hmm. I think Adele has an issue with that. And yes. some other singers. John Mayer has. Mm-hmm. And he is, past. it does seem to, for whatever reason, it, I feel as though sometimes it happens with newer singers newer performers earlier in their career. I don't know if it's because they're not controlling the vo- vocal cords right or they're straining so. them. They're well, just touring more. Also, when I'm singing in the car, sometimes my throat hurts a lot the next day. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> sometimes, because I'm not yeah. used to doing did, it. Did uh-huh. Josie miss yeah. some uh, days for no, vocal rest? No, but we should put her on vocal rest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she for 16 was years. on vocal rest, and y'all uh-huh. made fun of her yeah. for it. Yeah. yeah. I remember. Her voice is like... How did it ever heal? <laughs> yeah. She just runs marathons with that voice. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. She's got a lot of scar tissue on her voice. Yeah. going and going. Mm-hmm. And going. <laughs> Squid, you've been to Wilderness Camp. Do you think this is a cover for... I don't know. It's 50-50. It doesn't seem like it is. It doesn't seem like they it is. They never do. That's why it's so yeah. good. It didn't seem like it came, uh, COVID came from a lab at first, yeah. but it did. But all his <laughs> biggest hits are about being drunk, so okay. I don't know. Okay, you're just going to work all the, I, I know, you're trying to work all we your theories in. We were told in. that masks were working, then all they did All your theories <laughs> in. Um, but, uh, no, but I think that this, um, huh? typically, when we, like, a, let's take a Charlie Sheen, okay? Yes. There was time and time and time again where we saw the fall. Yeah, we saw the fall, and he had to go. Right, Lindsay Lohan the same, uh, Amanda uh, uh, Bynes uh, yeah. the same. You know, we see these things happening with Morgan Wallen. I mean, it was like a country concert, maybe two. Well, no, no, that were wasn't it the two? Well, I'm reading here that Morgan Wallen has gone to rehab before after the uh, that racial slur or whatever. He oh, well, that- went to learn if he had a drinking problem. That. Maybe that was a, a cover up for saying that. Could be. But mm-hmm. I'm sure he was probably drunk saying that. Well, I'm just talking about the fact yeah, he that was. he canceled like one or what was it, one or two concerts at, the, so. at yeah. the minute? Yeah. People were yeah. like so really mad. Is, is that necessarily a fall? No, I'm not saying mm. a fall, but. I, Do you know? Let, let's just assume yeah. that my conspiracy theory is correct that it's a cover for react. Let's, let's assume. I'm not saying. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Um, it may be the thing with the vocal cords. You have a thirty thousand paying customers. I get it. That you know, millions of dollars to you and the people that you know are associated with you and mm-hmm. the record, all the stuff. Mm-hmm. And then you're too drunk to go on stage, mm-hmm. knowing that you have a concert that night. That's a problem. Yes. Well, I could see he's how not somebody. The first. I, I could see how somebody could do that because they just didn't realize how far they were down mm-hmm. the line. And then, but and and he did. Here's what reason why I I lean the other way is because the next day. Like, he had to cancel multiple concerts in a row. And then after his voice got better, he performed multiple concerts with mm-hmm, no problem. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you would think that if it was that bad, he, he would it wouldn't be 
it, for the very least, it wouldn't be back to back to back. And then when he got better, it wouldn't be unless he purposely canceled the concerts on purpose, which you said was before, just because he wanted to make it seem like it was vocal rest and he was OK. Yeah. Right. I don't know. I, I feel as though it could be a problem with vocal rest. I'm choosing now to just think that it's for real, the vocal rest, because there are so many other bands and so many other singers who have gone before him that have been out of their minds, oh, yeah. insane, can't perform. And that did not send them to rehab. No, it may mm-hmm. be a, a personal choice. People around like, you need to get this. You're a huge star, mm-hmm. and you need to get this under control now, and then you, otherwise you're going to mess your career because he's already missing shows. Yeah. Like yeah. a security guard, and, and we're taking his word for it, said he was too drunk to even stand up right before a show. And then they and then he said the they said they lied and so his his voice. Maybe like, he, he couldn't was, stand up. Maybe he was so distraught. <laughs> maybe. Just so emotional. Yeah. And I, he's a super uh, talent. There's nothing against him. I did tell Jared, and I know that, you know, he has an incredible amount of songs in the top whatever, right? Mm-hmm. I told Jared there is not a bad song that he sings. Yeah. I don't know what it is. There are so many times you've bought an album or you listen to the artist's other work, you're like, okay, three, four songs tops on the right. whole album, right? True. Every song that he puts out, I love. I can't help it. Mm-hmm. I never saw myself as a Morgan Wallen fan, ever. <laughs> he but is I love the, him. He, he's the number one uh, country star in the world even yeah. songs i didn't think i was gonna like in the, the first listen now i love mm-hmm. well we consider you an active listener it's called <laughs> thank you jason <laughs> yeah it's the opposite of you sometimes but I'll <laughs> thank you for being rude again <laughs> very rude listener too i'm so quick i can't even help he it. actively heard that <laughs> I don't like that. You don't like that. He don't like that. He don't like that. Don't like that. Listener <laughs> to music. That's what I was referring to. Not a passive. You know, I, I could see him uh, not even doing like either one. I could see him not going to rehab and him and him not actually being vocally damaged, just solely trying to save face and make people think he wasn't drunk. You know what I mean? That's, like he's just sticking to his guns but not going he's to not rehab. Gonna go he's not going to go at one. this point. Yeah, not think? doing either one. He's just going to like chill All for right. a little bit. Just kind of a waste of time face. and money. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Mm. Well, and plus there has been a trend for big stars, Shawn Mendes, others mm-hmm. to take a break, mental health breaks, and they'll just Justin Bieber for health mm-hmm. reasons stop major tours for mm-hmm. various reasons. Mm-hmm. Which before I just think they just powered through. Maybe mm-hmm. it was the drugs and that helped. Yeah, maybe it was. <laughs> <laughs> so if I got mentally ill, but I'm on coke. I don't care. <laughs> I'll matter. deal with it when I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, uh, Nick Cannon, you know, he was just in... He needs a well, dong rest. He, ha- he, says, <laughs> <laughs> he says that he uses protection and no, somehow or not. That's what he says. Oh, I don't wow. know. He has a uh, father of 12 children. <laughs> and, you know, he was very famously married to and had children with first to Mariah Carey, right? And they have their twins. Mm-hmm. And so somebody was talking to Nick Cannon about... Like, we don't. We hear a lot about the other mothers of Nick Cannon's children, but we don't hear all that much about Mariah Carey until now. So you have the twins with Mariah. Does what does she think about all the all, all of the children? She high frequency, man. She like, man, you high. She she always asks, you high? You, you how you doing? You, you you handling it all? And then she's like, long as you don't bring none of that bull <laughs> over to, here to to the manner of Carrie. <laughs> like she don't like she lives in her own world. She nothing can infiltrate that. So when we talk daily, she just checking on my spirit. They talk daily. Daily. Uh, mm. I guess to the kid, but still daily. Okay. Daily. Yeah. It'd be funny if he brought his other yeah. ten kids to her house she, <laughs> for a play date with, like, oh, no, with the other two kids. <laughs> mm-hmm. And also, I do. I have no. I have nothing to base this on other than what I know about her from the news. But I feel like she also doesn't care. She no, cares she about herself, right. yeah. And herself and her children only, and that is it. Yeah, she's yeah. bringing it up to make sure, like, to set up some boundaries. Yeah. Like, like, don't how you, you dare. Uh huh. Okay. Anyway, the reason I said that is because, <laughs> right. Keep that away from me. <laughs> right. Don't bring yeah, that exactly. to yeah. me at all. Yes. All right. And then finally, in some news that I think shocked us all, Robert De Niro just out of nowhere revealed he just had another baby. The Italian Nick Cannon, number seven. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Listen, I know you have six kids, um, but like, seven, have you? I just had a baby. Seven. Oh my goodness. He's 79, by the way. Wow. 79 years All old. All right, I've got a question here. Two things. Did he go to Wave Tech? Because at 79, <laughs> seriously, at 79, is he saying he's done it or he got 
he, it was like an artificial thing. I don't know. And that he wanted it. So is this like a mistake? I have so many questions about that. It's a or lot. two, didn't he just recently get a divorce? Is this with somebody new? Someone new is and what I read. And he pull one of the things like, my wife got too old, so I got a new girl that's young, wanted a baby. That's how I got Probably her, and I had a baby. Here's I mean, there's what a million we know. things. Because he has kids with like four different women, right? Yes, Three or he four. has. Mm-hmm. Uh, he shares. So total now of seven. But based on what we knew before, he had six. Shares two with his first wife. They, they are... 51 and 46 <gasps> years old. Wow. <laughs> Go play with your brother. <laughs> He's got a set of 27 year old twins with a former <laughs> girlfriend. Wow. Two with his second wife, and they are 25 and 11. And then my understanding is this is a brand new baby with his rumored girlfriend, Tiffany Chen. How old is she? Did, um, she? Do we know? I don't know. I wonder if she's age. a lot younger. Squid, can you look She's got to be in birthing age. Which yeah, I guess could be up to, like 50, up to in her 50. 50s, I guess. So if he's but, 79 uh, and he got he pulled like a 28 year old. She's like, I want a baby. Yeah, that's wait, probably wait, one of Tiffany the Tiffany Chin, film producer. Uh, she's 64. Um, no, that can't be it. No. All about Tiffany Chin. Well, that how is that possible then? Mm, that can't surrogate. be possible. Could be surrogate. So he purposely did this? No, no, we don't know. Um, she is the martial arts instructor. She's 64. Is she 64, Katie? Or is this a different Tiffany Chin? No, this is definitely the the same one. I uh, Wow. I don't know. I can't find it. You can't it. find I can't it right find now? It. Yeah. I that'd be, find that'd it. be odd if they do a surrogate. She's 64. Why would she want to do that? She doesn't look or 64. Or did he adopt? Did he adopt? He could have oh, adopted. He, he's not it's really baby, saying. Though. Yeah, that's true. She it's, does not look 64. And this article says presumably it's his girlfriend, Tiffany Chin, who was spotted with a baby bump last month. Okay. So she was pregnant. So it can't be. It can't, can't be the one sixty four. That's impossible. Yes, there's no way. Why can we not find her age? <laughs> <laughs> Why can we find the real Tiffany Chen? I don't know. Is there pictures of them together know. anywhere? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, De Niro like, balling, son. Well, you like have, uh, <laughs> how, what is the oldest women can have a baby? Like up to their, I think the oldest was like sixty, so sixty or seventy, but that's not. It's like a, a freak occurrence, right? Um, Claire Danes, you know, from my so-called life, she's forty four and pregnant. And um, Hillary Swank, I think, is 49 and just had twins. Yeah. So, I mean, it happens mm. for sure. Especially with IVF and stuff. But that... 64 seems up there. And if Anybody you're... find her age? And if you're 79 oh, no, 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 and no, you're rich no. and famous, why would you be dating someone 64? Don't... Tiffany Chen said that in 2023 her? she is aged either 45 or 46. Okay, okay. that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, yeah. that does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. De Niro. He has an age gap of 35 years about. Wow. Yeah. Pretty good. Um, mm. Jared, because he, he, loves, he loves her. That's why. He Maybe. has kids that are older than his girlfriend. Yes. Baller. Not. Yes. Hero. Yeah. <laughs> Hero. <laughs> Although. Hero, <laughs> unless you're the kid, and then the kid's uh, like, ew. Yeah, and then you have like, you'll have like a one-year-old and like a 52-year-old. <laughs> Who's old enough to be a grandparent. <laughs> right? Yeah. Technically. Well, your brother's, I do, yeah. I do think Robert De Niro is a great actor, but right. I have seen him off acting, talking to interviews and stuff. He's not the most pleasant guy. No. He's kind <laughs> of, My gosh. He's he like can a be loose a jerk. Cannon. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he says some wild stuff. So I'm so sorry. Kate, seven. Um, I got to know, have you always been the cool dad or have you ever had like the embarrassing dad moments? I don't think that I'm a cool father. I think, um, you know, I, Sebastian said that about Salvo. And that's great. Um, I, I'm OK. You know, my kids uh, disagree with me at times and they're respectful. My daughter my is 11 she's uh, gives me a grief sometimes and i argue with her and i grief. adore her you're but, old um, yeah. you know and my youngest now that'll be more to come but yeah you know that's it that's, that's what because he plays sebastian manicasco's dad in a new movie gotcha mm. like <laughs> about and that's mm-hmm. gonna be great and the preview looks hilarious. When you say things like giving you grief, you know that you are <laughs> grandpa. Old, yeah, yeah. You yeah. are grandpa age. Yeah. old he, grandpa. He does have one grandchild, Nicholas Ed Nero. How old? Uh, only one? Only, that is yeah. shocking. Only one. Only one. one. more. That sounds fake news. I'm calling son, fake news on Are you on Twitter? Twitter? <laughs> no, I'm on Google. I'm on Google. Okay. <laughs> That's because he has six kids and, and like five of four uh, of them. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Yeah. Seven children. Four grandchildren. Okay. Why okay. do we? I don't know. Know. And in all honesty, like I'm looking at some of the know. pictures of his Take kids. Take his computer away. Yeah. Some of his kids look like like they're the same person. So maybe he's got only like three kids, and because there's literally like four different pictures of people here, and they all look exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> Raphael, Aaron, Elliot, they all look the same. Okay. 
I'm Italian. I grew up with an Italian father, Sicilian immigrant. Right? Been working since I've been eight years old. It's <laughs> <laughs> watching cartoons on a Saturday morning. My father walked in the living room. He's like, hey, go start a business. <laughs> <laughs> Now? <laughs> father, he never bought us anything growing up. I come from a middle class family. But my father told me and my sister who had what we wanted in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, Dad, could we get a dog? Dog. Two houses down. They got a dog. <laughs> <laughs> You feel like petting something? You walk two houses down <laughs> and hope to God the dog's outside. Yeah, he's the best. He is the best. I love him. That movie's going to be big. Or it's going to be good. It's going to be good. How do you say his name again? Sebastian Manic- Maniscalco. 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 I'm just going to call him Sebastian. Sebastian. Yeah, Sebastian. Because yeah. that last name's rough. I would say Manis- Maniscalco. Manic- Oh, man. Now it's gonna be him. Now I'm gonna not say it right. <laughs> Man- Man- Kalsko. Sebastian Manikowsko. I remember I found him like four or five years ago, and I'm like, Jason, I so love this guy. Funny. And I, you just weren't ready. You weren't. I wasn't. I'm no, like, you're like who? And I'm like, I'm telling you that you're gonna identify with this guy, and he's the best. I'm only I only let a certain amount in. <laughs> 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 he was on his Kevin Hart train. I still am. Yeah. yeah. But this guy has now come into the picture. Maniscal- oh. Maniscalco. 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 